and welcome everybody to season eight of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. It is time for a Paradox Rift. Oh, I feel like possibly across the screen, if Ethan the editor is up for it, there's like a... Like a As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we will also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. Hello and welcome to season eight of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. Whoa. This is weird. It's a paradox rift. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. Okay, <laughs> cut to intro. And now, without any further ado, it is time to spin the wheel of energy. Oh, yeah. Let's go! What's it gonna be? What's our first what? type advantage of the season? It, it is going to be. Salad energy, fantastic, you'll love to see it. Oh, that means, man. actually we don't have to change the skateboards because Leafeon's already right in the middle. Way to go, high five Leafeon. Boom, crushing it. All right, so brand new season, everyone is starting from zero. This is gonna be pack one for all of our contestants today. Ben, what is the best card you can pull in this set? Well, it is called <coughs> Roaring Moon, right? Special Roaring illustration Moon. rare. Yes. It is worth 100 points with a little extra change, so I'm calling it our Dalmatian card. Oh. 101 points. 101 points. Pretty, pretty Fantastic. Fun, pretty fun. Uh, other fun fact about this particular season is the lowest value card is going to be the Porygon Z. The lowest lowest rare card value? Lowest rare okay. card value is Porygon Z. So that'll be like the Mr. Mod <coughs> of last season. So anybody okay. competing for last place. What is fascinating, it's worth five cents. Whoa. There are two other Porygon common cards that are worth more than the rare Porygon. That's so weird. Yes. That, that is odd. And then as ever, there is the two-point uncommon card, the Earthen Vessel. So we'll have to be on the lookout for that one. Yes, of course. Uh, yeah. and then the other thing, of course, that we need to do before we can start today's episode is the randomly chosen common chase cards. Yes, which are going to be Tatsugiri, Horsey, and Blipbug. Amazing. So I think now we're due to begin. We are due to begin. Let's oh, break a box. Let's break a We've box. also got three extra packs from an ETB in here because we'll be doing the Big Steve uh, packs today as well to round out everyone's uh, packs. That is correct, man. I'm so excited. Yeah. Not that these will necessarily be Steve's. We'll just throw them in at random. At random. Fun mode engaged. Ba boom. Ba boom. All right, our first contestant of the season is Elizabeth. Is that Roaring Moon right there? <laughs> that is Roaring Moon right so, there. There can, he is. You can see how Dalmatian like Roaring yeah. Moon happens it's to be. It's basically a spitting image of a spotted dog. There we go. All yep. right, Elizabeth, let's see what we have got. Ready for season eight. Now, in, weirdly enough, uh, we've opened two boxes of this so far. The first pack out of both boxes we've opened has been Goldango EX. How random. So, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so <clears> we got the uh, we got the, the teardrop energy, so nothing special going on there. We got the Spinda, Tinka Tink. Tanda Mouse, Dwebble. Dwebble will score. Minior? Yep. Okay. Uh, Dondozo, the loser. Dwebble. Oh, oh, critical hit right out of the gate! Fight. Boom! Okay, oh. and that won't do anything for us. Okay, nope. and the Wochi Wo Wo N. Which, so that's going to be what? One, two, three, four times, times two, two is eight points. Eight to points. Kick off season eight. Not at all <clears throat> a bad start to the season for Elizabeth. Well done, enjoy your Wo Chien and your eight points. Ba bam there we go. All right, we're off to a solid start, I think. Next up, we have got Josh. 
a professional IT nerd. Let's see, maybe you just grabbed the wrong pack to get the gold ingot. That's right, that's right. Yeah. It's just the other, the other the side. The other side, yeah. this yeah. is for sure going to be it. As we all know, from the actual data points, uh, Jay does, he's the, the person to pull for you. He tends to have see. the higher pulls. See, this Pan Sage will score. Mantike, Shantao, Garbodor, Future Booster Energy, Purloin. The Tatsugiri is a chase card, and the Garnacle. So, no, no uh, Goldango here, but we will have one, two, three points to the pack there for... For Josh. For Josh, well done, sir. Very amazing. Uh, cool to see that we got the, uh, I think the Tatsugiri <coughs> is the uncommon randomly chosen common chase card. So yeah. fun to have pulled that so quickly. Congratulations. Also, I feel like brand new set and just coming off 151, there's like a whole bunch of new Pokemon whose names I don't know how to pronounce. I know, yeah, um, we get to go. And yeah. then a bunch of them have these like ancient or future modifiers on them, so they're like... Iron Hands, or Iron Moth, or Iron Bundle, or whatever. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, so lots of lots of new stuff to learn with this set, but I have been impressed. I feel like it's a cool set. Everything has seemed really interesting and kind of whimsical so it's far. It's definitely an extremely competitive set. Lots of um, game-breaking sort of things in it. There we go. So we got the, the Dark Teardrop, the Pharaoh Seed, the Gibble, Gibble? Yep. Geibel? Geibel. Geibel feels right. Pampor, the Blitzel, the Rika, the Gorgist. Gorgeist. Gorgeist, yep. that makes more sense. Uh, Professor Sada's Vitality. There is a uh, alt art rare of this one too that's gonna be pretty solid if anyone can manage to pull it. Okay, then we got the uh, the Iron Moth, which that will, will score. score. There we go, the Tandem Mouse will not score. Oh, the Armor, Armor Rouge! Armor Rouge. <clears throat> so we can go and check to see if that is worth anything. 27, which is gonna be a first pager for us. 96 cents, so unfortunately. Oh uh, no, just a two point pack there for uh, Fluffy Duck, who I did not announce as the person for this pack. There you go, our who? first EX of the season. Oh, although oh. Uh, Fluffy Duck is in fact uh, a rookie as well. That's true, so uh, they are in contention for the ever popular Olive Garden gift card, and they are now leading with two points. Let's two see points. if they can hold on to that for the rest of the episode. I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. We'll see. Next up we've got uh, Sydney, who, let's see. Uh, is a longtime player of the game. They had four points last season. Sort of disappointing for us, a single pack season. This, yeah, I know. I feel like there were some good pulls last season, but Tear we'll drop. teardrops. There's still no salad there, but that one will. The yep. Surf Skit will score. Wismer, Flamingo, Tinkaton, Durant, Earthen Vessel. That's the two point card right there. The Zatu will also score. The Wimpod will not. And Latios. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five points for Sydney to kick off the season. Not too shabs. Not too shabs. So the Earthen Vessel, look, but we're literally getting like all I the know. all the like interesting cards. So now, it's now like, I feel it's like, like the box knows this is the first episode. It's like let's introduce all yeah. the uh, mechanics to the game this time around. Right, we've got so the cool. critical hits. Right, people so know what's people going on. About that. All right, we've got uh, Jacob C next up on the leaderboard. All right, Jacob, let's see what we can do. Still looking for our first salad energy of the season. I know, yeah, all right. It's got to be coming, surely. We Ooh, got a rock is pummeling like instead. The whims were, the... Whismer. Whismer, uh, the dub blade? Dub blade, yeah. Dub blade, okay. Like double blade. Like, yep, the surf skip will score, the magmi, magbi. Magbi. Technical machine, the crocolore, the technical machine. Of, oh, oh, man, almost. Different TMs. The tandem mouse will not score, the dundozo will not score, and the chien pow will. So just a two point pack just there. Just a two point Point pack. No single point people who are competing, who'd be competing for last place just yet. Not just yet. There we go. All these people who have gone though, basically out of contention as far as I'm concerned. Yes, we're. I'm, I'm expecting place. somebody to pull three Porygons and end the yes. season with a mere 15 cents. Total well, you know what? Value. Last season, Data Rage here only had three points, and as we know, Data Rage is the closest person to uh, we've ever had to coming to like a, a like a two point season. Oh, finished yes. because for a while she had the goose egg and then the single point, but then pulled a big Lugia to, to ruin it. To ruin it. So let's see, Data Rach is one of our mods. So let's see if the mod curse continues on her this season, or is it a new season and a new, uh, new day? Lots of uh, differentiating, or like ancient and future Pokemon, Ferrothorn, Wimpod, the Ore Beetle will score, and the Thieva will score, but just two points for Data Rach. Just two points, goodness gracious. Unfortunate. The, the mod curse continues. Indeed. As we knew it would. Indeed. As we knew it would. Mm -hmm. Unless your name happens to be Mots, who always seems to somehow like... Yeah, get around it. Yeah, find, find a way through the through the thick and thin of it. Yep. Oh, boy. Let's see, next up we have Gildruin. Gildruin, all right, Gildruin. Crack pack for ya. 
This is where we always say uh, train for a 50k mountain trail ultra marathon, but then we never know if they finished it. There's an update. They finished, finished it. Finished it. Wow. Congratulations, Congrats. Guild Ruin. Further well, than I've ever run it once. Absolutely amazing. Plus, oh! we got the salad energy to Booyah! celebrate the occasion. There and we then go. right away, we got Boom, a, sweet. Yeah, the Phoebus, the iPom, yes. iPom, the, yep. yep, there we go. Panther, Pat 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 oh, oh my gosh, gosh they're crushing the it. Tulip, the Flamigo will not score, the Nicket will not score, and oh, the, iron. the Iron Jugulus. I there love that one. It sounds like it's going right for the jugular or it something. It really does. All right, so we've got, let's see here. So we've got one, two, three, four times two is eight. Eight points. So tied for the leaderboard. Tied for the leaderboard. It's very Drew impressive. In. There we go. All right. The, both people have taken advantage of a multiplier to get on the board so far. So far, yes, absolutely. Although I feel like we're still, I feel like we're still waiting for something to, to kind of like break. Oh through. yeah, something. We, we're not even close to something big happening. Eight points won't keep you on the top of the leaderboard for very long at all. No Enjoy it while you can, Guild Ruin. All right. Next up, we have Jessica Mullins. Will they be the one to jump ahead? Dark Teardrop Energy. There's the apparently more valuable <laughs> more. than its evolved form, Porygon. Right. Cedra, Magni, Vanillite, Glass Score, the Steeny will score, the Medical Energy will not, Ting Lu will score, as will Cham Pao and Tapu Coco! How about that? All there we go! All sorts of random legendaries in the back of that pack. That's crazy. Let's see, number 68 on the set. Oh, it's only gonna be worth 63 oh, cents! Oh no, so still just four points after all of that. Man! Whoa, man. It's like Either way. Some way to show up and still not be able to walk away with as many points as you'd certainly hope for. The Tapu Coco is playable though, if you're trying to run some Maridon decks. I know people are testing it out in there. Remains to be seen how good it's going to be. There we go, there we go. What? Either there which is. way, you got a sleeveable card, which I always count as a victory. So I know, enjoy. Right? Enjoy. Add that to your binder. All right, next up we've got Lauren. Bam, who, oh look at this, we're on the back of a card. Lauren's been playing the game so long, we're on the back of her index I love card. that, I love that. All right, here we go. How is she going to do in season eight? Can she jump to an early lead? Will her veteran status help her out? We're about to find out. Bam, Rock, Rock is pummeling. Is pummeling. You'll always a good omen, yeah. yeah. The Plusle, the Tandem Mouse, the Toad, Toad School. School, Curse Duster, the Orbeetle. Orbeetle, Cloth Dottler, Target at nothing, and oh, the Spathra. Bam, so just a four point pack there for Lauren. But either way, I like how the Espather has the trainer on it. They don't often do that. I know, yeah. I mean, for, for just like a standard rare, although look at yeah. the cut. I mean, you can see sort of like the imperfection here, the quality control. Like the, the, yeah. this side is definitely a lot thinner than that one You're over right. there. So from a grading standpoint, probably wouldn't grade particularly high, but still very cool. <laughs> like you ever grade the Espath regard. <laughs> well, you never, I mean, you know, it's maybe, like, you maybe would, that's maybe like somebody's would. like, like um, yeah, somebody, maybe somebody can make it their pet project to go through and PSA 10 all the like, Common and uncommon cards. <laughs> I know I know that for like the base set, people have done that. They've Certainly. gone through and had like, yeah, this is my completely graded base set of Pokemon. Which is pretty cool. cool. Yeah, pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. So I'll give you that. Next up we've got Doe. Doe! Here was again. Let's see. Can Doe overcome the mod curse? The best season Doe has ever had is 24. Okay. So okay. that's not that's not the worst. Last season though, only three points. So right there with Data Rage. But Doe has been with us for a while, all the way yeah. know, at least back to season two at the very least. Uh, we just don't have dates for season one, but it wouldn't even surprise me if, if she was there for that one as well. So we've got the Flamigo, the Porygon, wow, highly valuable. Oricorio. Yep, Yeah, that's right. nice, okay, yeah. The Toad School uh, will score, the Vanilla Lux, the Durant Durant, the Defiance Vest, the Wiglet will not score. Oh, there oh, we go, Parasol, Parasol Lady! Lady! Look at that, that's, that's such a cool looking card. You know, and I feel like this is a really funny one because I feel like uh, Doe might be amongst the people that know my hilarious Parasol lack of knowledge from oh, the Mario yeah. Kart days where mm -hmm. I had no idea that Parasol was just an umbrella for the sun. Yep. Uh, and then the Steelix to close out, but okay, obviously so the Parasol Lady, yeah, cards. 255. Let's check that one out and see what we got. It's always a good a good omen when you have to go far back into the pages. It does see. seem like it, yeah. Front page, rarity, never very good. Oh yeah, there we go. This is just a new record. New season record, 2744 Whoa. Uh, Parasol Lady. What a freaking really? Pull. 28 points. 28, 29, 30. Oh my god. Very gosh. impressive. Those best point total Ever and takes a firm spot atop the leaderboard with Parasol Lady of all things. Is this even a good card? Shuffle your hand to your deck, draw four. If you go second and it's your first turn, draw eight. No, it's not. <laughs> 
<laughs> rare card though, Jay. Rare, rare card, card though. Good points. Good yes. for you. Well done to Doe. That's amazing. I love to see it. And that's there we go. Mod curse. I feel like it's there. You go. Just took a it took just a blow. Just smashing through it. Yeah. All right. Next up we have Kernak McClagan. Kernak. All right. Let's see what you've got, Kernak. Who another last season? Just three points. So okay. Okay. I mean, yeah. Who so knows which way it's gonna go anymore? At this point, it feels like yeah. Can we I get back to back big pulls? The Oracorio, the Swablu, the Panseer, the Nicket, the Absol, the Simisage is cool, the Norman, the Joltik, there's oh, the pair. boring Parasol lady. There we go, <laughs> yep. Oh. And the Lokix. Can I just say, can I just say, we literally just talked about Parasol being, like, yeah. you know, an umbrella. Like, this th this is clearly being used in the rain. In the rain, I just yeah. want that to be known. Yeah. Because once, I, I mean, Parasol literally from Spanish translates to for sun. Uh, like, para means for, sol means sun. So this this lady, whose whole identity is, I have an umbrella, does is using is it wrong. Is using it incorrectly. Wow. Which, like, honestly, I feel like makes me feel a tiny bit better for not knowing what it was. Right, even people who are professional parasol right. havers. Right, yeah. <laughs> like, they're, yeah, it's their whole thing. That's it. Oh, man. Anyway. Right. Well, there you go. Only two points then for Kernak McClagan. Let's see. Next up, we have Shadow Loop. Shadow Loop. Another longtime player of the game. They finished last season with just two points, so they got a lot. They, they can do better. I'm feeling good. I think <laughs> they can outdo themselves in this pack alone. They can do better. They can do better. You know what? I'm going to call you out. I expect more from you. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I feel like I feel like you know. It's it's not something we say very often. Yeah. Is like do more. You know. You know. Yeah. yeah. You can be better than that. You can do better. There I we go. have faith in you. All right. We got the Mantike. Yep. Yep. Of course. Okay. The Gabite. The Minin. The Dew Blade. Dub Blade. Yeah. The Veluza. Goodness gracious, they're just going for me today <laughs> with like unpronounceable names. Uh, Sean Chantal. <laughs> not gonna help. Garbodor. Uh, Volcanion will score. Will score. Uh, the Flittle will not score, and the Palkia. Uh, will score, which I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like my my lack of knowledge, but the fact that there's just a standard Palkia card just feels wrong to me. It does, yeah, like, like it should like, always be like extra rare. Yes, always, always, always. So number yeah, number forty on the set. Just out of curiosity, is it at least worth more even as a rare? No, twelve cents. So nothing nothing super crazy, but we got a Palkia. Well, Shadow Loop, that's just two points again. Just okay? two points. Look, go, go, go. Take a day, collect yourself. We know you can do better. We'll see you then. We'll see you then. I meant to know. <laughs> Did you say do better? I said kid do better. That's amazing. Kitten Ninja's up next. Next up, we've got Kitten Ninja. Let's see how we're going to do. Let's see. It says their favorite Pokemon is Charizard and Jolteon. I don't think either of those Pokemon are in this set, so. <sighs> Unfortunately, not going to be your day in that department. Boom. Uh, possibly a fire or electric type. There's there an electric right. type. Right Spinda, Nimble, nimble yep. Score, Elekid, another electric, Luxurious Cape, Cyclozar, Simisir, Vanilla. Oh, oh, the Snorunt! That's so cute! Adorable. I have not seen this card at all. And the Eveltal. Wow, what is the Snorunt going to be worth? That is so cute. That I is love adorable. it. Adorable. Let's see, number 188 on the set. set. I can find my page here. My new printer doesn't print on front and back, so I have way too many pages. What kind of 2023 printer doesn't print on front and back? Don't even get me started on printers. <laughs> I, I, can, I have a whole rant. Uh, $3.35 <laughs> for the snow run, no. snow run. Four, five, six points on the pack. Solid opening, Kitten Ninja. At least you got this adorable snow run card, if nothing else. Bam, there we go. We'll throw that over for you. Make sure it gets to you nice and safe. Next up is, oh, it's another Rookie of the Day, Ben. It's Opal Tano. Opal Tano. Opal Here Tano. we go. Probably Ahsoka's sister. Most likely, guess. Opal yes. Tano. Lesser yeah. known. <laughs> yeah, everyone talks about Ahsoka. <laughs> Big Force user in the family. <laughs> it's like Petunia energy. <laughs> yes, yeah. it really is. It really is. Oh, goodness. Hopefully you're cooler than Petunia Dursley, though. Yes, and right, I think that's an extremely low bar. Yeah. I have all the faith in the world. I have all the faith in you. We have Glygar. We have oh, Litbug, which scored two points Yep, there today. we go. Amazing. The Fuecoco, the Haunt Edge, the Orthrum, the Toad School, the Screamtail, Nackley, Mian Shao, and Iron Moss. It's going to be a four-point pack a overall four point pack, amazing. for Opal Tano, which uh, is going to at least put Opal in the lead for... Um, Rookie of the day. Rookie of the day. The yeah. So poor Fluffy Doc just took a yeah. total total strike. That being said, though, I just read a book to Addison for the first time last night that uh, included a, a character named Fluffy Doc. Wow. So I hope that you can taste sauce in the fact that you know it's an adorable name. There you go. All right. Next up, we have got another Lauren. Another Lauren. Yes. Okay. So there's there's of course Lauren and then another Lauren and, and then, 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 then Lauren B from then the Bachelor. Lauren B from the Bachelor. Yeah. yeah. 
So if your name is Lauren and you're not currently a patron, but you want to get in on Team Lauren, you know, go for we, it. We've almost got enough of you to have an entire team of right? Laurens, you know. So there's there's like the standard elements, you mm -hmm. know, grass, water, fire, electric, and yeah. then Lauren. Yeah. <laughs> The fifth element. <laughs> the fifth element, as it were. Um, all right, so we've got the, the teardrop energy, the vanillite. Yep. Nice. Charcadet, the swab blue, the pan sear, the technical machine turbo energizer. This is Gotta just say a, the whole name every time. A completely upsetting, like, like, piece of card. Yeah. The, the fact that it's like a CD-ROM is just like, oh, man. That's a TM. That's how the TMs are. Yeah, but still, it's yeah. just, I don't know. I don't know. The Wug Trio, the Techno Radar, the Boon Suite will not score. It the, will. Oh, I'm sorry. It will score, of course, because of the type advantage. There we go. The Magby will not score, and the Zekrom. And the Zekrom. So just two points for that pack there. Personal opinion is that people are sleeping on the Zekrom. Oh, man. Yes. Yeah, me yeah. too. That's what I was going to say exactly. as well. Yeah. Throw it in that Maridon the, deck, man. In the Maridon deck. Right. Yeah. Right. Because what you, you got to play the Pogo Zapdos with uh, the Zekrom, yep. meaning you can do 140 damage, which at, when then you're hitting course. for weakness is 280, and that's the magic number. Easy peasy. There you go. Easy peasy. Throw it in there. It's a better one prize attacker than the Zapdos. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, wow. Next up, we have uh, 1909 Graz Fran. Graz Fan. Graz Fan. Graz Fan. Graz Fan. Graz Fan. I don't 1909. know. What happened in 1909? 1909 Graz Fan. That's just what. That's all we know. That's all we have to go off of. Um, so. So they got one point last season, so they must have been in contention for last place. Must but I have don't been. Think they got it? No, I don't believe so. Yeah. But yeah, we'll have to we'll have to see how they do here on their uh, on their second pack ever. We will see. All right, bam! Metal Energy. All right, Vanillish, Onyx, Tinka Tank, Charcadet, Crobat, Rourke, Minyor, Techno Radar. Toad School, Code School will score, as will the Wo Chien. So three points. So three points on the pack there for Graz Fan. Solid, solid. One of the cool things about the Reverse Hollows this particular season is that if it happens to be one of the future or ancient cards, it has like a different holographic effect on it. So you've actually pulled one of those with your Techno Radar, which is kind of cool. Very cool. Neat. Fun. Fun fact. I, I like the way that they're able to like continuously like kind of change things up while still like residing in the same zip code. Like, yeah. It, it's always the case for me where it's like, well, best case scenario is that just every single pack has like a like an Illustrator Rare, but then if every pack had an Illustrator Rare, then they wouldn't be like Yeah, special. they wouldn't be that exciting. Right. So there is that. All right, next up, Ben. We're actually gonna have to open three packs because it's Big Steve. It's Big Steve time, all right. Yeah. Well, Big Steve, we're about to, if anything has ever been true, it is largely that Big Steve seems to be sitting right at the top of the old bell curve at least based on our observations. He is on Team Electric and he's got the uh, he's got the, the Lightning Bolt energy there, the Mill Tank, the Wim Pod, the Plusle, the Tandem Mouse, the Future Booster Energy Capsule, the Iron Bundle, the Scream Tail, the Nimble Will Score. Oh, oh and the Blitzel! The Blitzel's so pretty. Amazing, there we I go. Okay, it. and the Volcanion. Oh, the, there's the, another the, tiny one way back there. They're like adorable. saying hi. Just a hey friend. That's so fun. All, All right, right, so. 195 mm -hmm. on the set. to so Big Steve. Big Steve, at least off to a good start. Start. Good start indeed. Let's see what number 195 will do for us with the Blitzel. Uh, still only $3.17, so nothing absolutely astounding. I'm throwing in the other packs at complete random here. A complete random, okay. Beautiful, beautiful. There All we right. go. How much was this worth? Uh, $3.17, so, so four, four five, six on pack number one. There we go. All, All right, right, let's just go complete. I have no idea what is what here. I'm going to fold this one. Okay. Going all over the place. I'm a big Steve one. This is a fun uh, touch point for the rest of the season, so we know where people can be aiming. Okay, oh, look at this, electric again. Oh, electric again. It's an electric performance this season by Big Steve. The Simi Sage will score. He has this weird problem where he could get a really good day on the type advantage or a really bad day because we do them all at That's once. That's true. That is true. Yeah. yeah. But so far, hasn't played uh, played in. A oh! oh, Big Steve with the Inveltopple. Uh oh, are we gonna have like a really competitive Big Steve? Uh, this time around, that is a really cool card. That oh my super goodness! Super cool card. Oh my gosh! Wow. Let's see, the Evelto. Okay, so at least we'll not take over Doe yet. So nine dollars eighty-five cents. So ten, ten points. A Twelve for point one. pack here. Very solid. Very cool card. Goodness gracious, wow. Big Steve! This is what you expect out of this person. I know. I mean, if you've this ever met him, nonsense. he's just got hot hands always. So all right. All right. Let's see. And I'm gonna go from your side, okay. approximately there. Nice. Let's see. All right. Let's see. We'll close out Big Steve. So what's he at so far? He is so far at 18 points. 18 points. So, so even with two packs, with two pulls, he is not ahead of Doe. Okay. Okay. 
sits in see. first place. Let's couple see. A couple of really cool cards, though. So Eyeball Energy to so close no things type out. advantage. We've got the Purloin, <clears throat> Mian Fu, Pharaoh Seed, the Gaibol, the Vanillux, the Defiance Vest, the Veluza, the Zeb Strike will, will not, not score. score. The, the Whimsor will not score. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Three versus three. Although this is going to be the worst one by far, I think. This looks like Bulk EX, if I had to guess. Yeah, we'll see if it even gets in. the Glycopod. 66 cents. So, uh, yeah, that's basically a lot. Just a for single there. point pack, but it's going to bring. Big Steve to 19 points. That is the, the number to beat. So you want to land at 20 points. Hilariously, last season, Big Steve, 20 points. Wow! Yeah. But that was just on one pack. Yeah. So, I mean, if it goes to show, though, I feel like that's that's starting to demonstrate this guy's pullability, you know? There like, you go. I mean, it's, it's seasoned skill that you can only get from somebody who's just opened packs on packs on packs. There you go. That is the, the spread for Big Steve this season. He's going to be pretty happy with that, I think. Last season, he pulled the Charmeleon, so he's on a... He's four for four in the last four packs. That's, that's pretty insane. amazing. It's pretty amazing. Well, all right. He'll be happy to get those, I'm sure. All right, next up, we've got Marcos! Let's see, is it my turn to pull? I believe so. I'm gonna go right from the back of the, right back of the box. Right in the back of the box. Right in the back okay. of the box, why not? Why not? Marcos. Why not? Let's do it. Let's see, they got four points last season. Can we get four pulls in a row? That'd be wild, but not unheard of. Dark tier drop in. The Surf Skid will score, the Wismer will not. Flamigo, Porygon, Porygon. Steeny, Gliscor, Absol, oh! We got a critical hit! Oh, there we I'm go! The oh, score. Eight. Oh. Ooh, it's like that's an alt art Sandy Shocks. This is gonna oh, be good because he's got the so multiplier. Cool. That is such cool art. I have not seen that at all yet. I love it. Is this like a Magneton predecessor? It is an ancient Magneton, yes. Wow. Very love cool. That. Number 250 on the set. Goodness Let's me. Go back on all right, and we got the critical hit on the glass score, so we're gonna have some we're gonna have some points hitting the hitting the board here. We're we getting some like last page magic going on as well. I this know. Is fun. All right, let's see. Number 250. Okay, that's gonna work $10. 65 cents for that so, Sandy Shocks. 11, 12, 13, 14 times two is 28 points. Oh my goodness. Wow. Does that, so does that not, take over? No, 30 points 30 is points where is Doe is at. Goodness but Marco's putting up a fight. That is an insane pull. Well Very done. cool. Well done. Man, I love that card. I don't know if it, I don't know if it's any good. I don't even know what it does, but uh it's a it's a beaut. It's a it's a, it's a, beaut. a beaut. You can put that in your binder with pride. Oh, Ben. <laughs> Next up is Beck Squad. Beck Squad. He was putting up uh, a big fight last season. Yeah, Beck Squad's been with us for quite some time now. Quite some time. So we'll see what old Beck Squad can do today. What do they got? They got 31 points last season. Can they throw up some? That would be enough to uh, take the lead. That would, yep. All right, so we got <laughs> we got uh, the Dark Teardrop Energy, the Wiglet, the Glagar, oh, the, the Bug, bug will score twice, yep. right? The Fui Coco, the Steeny. 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 There we go. Counter Catcher, the Absol, the Gimme Ghoul. Gimme Ghoul. Gimme Ghoul will not score. The King Draw will score. Uh, yeah, and the Chi Yu. So, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five points. Five Five points for Beck Squad. For Beck there Squad. you good, go. Good start the to the season. Beck Squad, just just a like a like a player that's been around with us for such a time. I know. Thank you for your continued support. We appreciate it. All right. Next up, we have Tyler Gillies, who's also been around since since the early days. I know. Let's see if we can pull something big for Tyler Gillies here. Kick off season eight. I feel like we pulled so many cards just now. It's like, is there is there anything left? I don't know. I don't know. It's like, I mean, there's so many packs left. Surely okay. there must be something. Hopefully, hopefully. All right. We haven't got that many like. Oh, uh, the horsey will score. Oh, you're right. We haven't had a horsey yet. And the Dwebble will score. The Joltic, the Loudred, Thunder Machine, the Evolution, Explode, Mela, Panseer, Mantike, and, and Kingdra. Kingdra. Not no. Okay. Was it, was it, did we double Kingdra? That'd Didn't be double Kingdra. No. no. But so if there's three points. On four. the pack there, but our first horsey, so I mean, yeah. that's something you can, like, you know, write to the folks about. How have we just now gotten a horsey? I don't know, like those feel really rather, rather shocking. Oh, well, Merlin. Sandy shocking. Oh, okay. it's Aaron and Tony, Ben! We have another uh, rookie of the day and a brand new power couple into the game. There we go. Sorry, real quick. What was what was that last pack worth? Oh, that last pack was worth three. Three? Okay, let me just announce for Tyler Gillies. Okay. Okay. All right. So Aaron and Tony are now up. Let's see what we can do for them. Rookies. Rookies. So they're trying to beat four points to get four. the gift card. Yeah. Olo Polo for there. Sitting strong with mm -hmm. four. 
Let's see what we can do here. We've got the fireball energy, so no type advantage. We've got the toad school, though, which will... It's a point uh, that's going to help, so we don't have to get very high. Nimble. There we go. We're doing great so far. We're Up looking... To two. Uh -oh. Oh, man, the so minimum of four points now. Yeah, there we're there. Okay, let's see. The plus one will not score. The Glygar will not score. Oh, there oh, we go! And it is a full Ard Professor Turo scenario. I bet that has got some serious points on it. This that, is probably good enough for Rookie of the Day. Let's see. That feels like it would have to be. Again, we're Extremely kind of playable card, too. Let's see. Number 240 on the set. $4.47 for wow, that one. Wow, is that it? It is. So, so five, five, six, point. seven, eight. Eight points. Well, that's still going to take the lead. Every single time we've gotten a new rookie, they have doubled the last person. That's interesting. Yeah, two, four, yeah. eight. Yeah, so let's see. So that was that was Aaron and Tony. Aaron and Tony. And you love that, though, for couples as well. So they actually have exactly. a few points to, uh, to, to split. To, to share between themselves. Right. Yeah. All right, next up we've got Afropunk. Afropunk. Another seasoned veteran of the games. Me, you, I don't even know. I'll go for it. Go for Why it. Why yeah. not? Why Have not? a pull. Have a pack. Have a pack. All right, Afropunk. The game is the foot. I feel like there was a hush on the crowd. This a is like people, like people preparing for like a putt. So this is like this is like a big moment for some yeah. reason. I'm not sure. Oh, why. oh there it is. There that's go. why. Yeah, so that's why. Maybe people that's can maybe feel that's it. Why. Snow. Do you say snow run or snow run? Snow run, like snow. Snow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like it. I like it. Uh, honed edge. Oh, hone edge. Yeah. Hone edge. Honed, like honing a sword. Yeah. Yeah, oh no, you're right. Yo, oh, nice! Horsey. Horsey, there That's we go, that'll score, yep. The Joltik, the... Masquerade. Um, yep, there we go. The Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, the Orthworm. Nice. The Wiglet will not score. The Blip Bug will oh, score will twice. Oh, will score, yep. There we go, and the Tinglu. So we're right, gonna have so one, two, three, four, five, times two is ten! Ten points! There you go. Well done to Afropunk, solid. Sinks the putt, Dang. as it were. Yep. Probably. Probably, Golf yeah. Golf clap. Yeah, I mean, you got the multiplier, you got up to 10 points there. Very fun, very fun. Pull some chase cards. All right, next up we've got Chadster. Chadster. Chadster finished last season with three points. Favorite Pokemon's Piplup. Don't think Piplup's in this set. So we can't pull that for you, sadly. Sadly. Yeah, but maybe we'll pull some other cool water Pokemon. You know, we'll see. Bam, Dark Teardrop. All right, we got the Flittle, the Trubbish, the Gimme Ghoul, the Wiglet, Simipore, Zubstrikla, Crocolore, Gorgice, Clawf, and oh! whoa! The Toxtricity EX, full art, oh look gosh. at that. There was nothing nothing These, doing in that pack at all. Nothing at all, you were about to get a one and then out of nowhere, Toxtricity full art. Let's see, how are we doing on the points there? Two dollars, 44 cents. What? Just three, just honestly. Three I, on the I, Toxtricity? I feel like there's something about that card that just has has like it, it has like the like the gravitas or it something. Does. It does. It looks like it, awesome. It feels like it should be worth more. It but. does, but alas, it is not. So three points three for the points pack. It is for Chad. So but a cool three points. A very you know? cool three yeah. points. Yeah. yeah. Don't let anyone tell you differently. All right. Next up, we have drawing hearts. So as ever, draw a heart. Yeah, I'm gonna draw a heart on the card as I usually do. Heart of the cards. Ooh, the heart of the cards. Can oh. we rely on that? The heart's on the card. The heart on the card. Oh wait, no, it's you. Oh, it's me. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna take the same time. Oh, gonna... oh, wow! It felt like a good one. Okay, well let's see. Let's can see. can uh, drawing hearts, heart of the cards, heart of the cards, pull something big. Let's see. Let's see what we got Juice here. themselves up to first place. We got that. They got the the snow run. Already up. Snow run. Oh, okay. The, the what is happening? Yeah, what the is horse? The same I, three. I know. Yeah. The same four even. The explode. Yeah. The Mila, Mela, Mela. the uh, Minior. Minior. Uh, will not score. The Tinka Tank will not score. Vanilla, nope. Okay, there Snow we go. Run. Yep, there we go. And oh, the Age of Slash. Age of Slash. So, so just, just two points. points. No heart of the cards this time, I'm afraid. But there is always next time. There is always next time. Although, uh, Drawing Hearts has been waiting for a big Heart of the Cards moment for a while. Their biggest pack ever has been just five points. So wow. I know, know, yeah. So, I mean, just just hold out. I feel like, I mean, this is one of, I mean, it's all pure random all the time and always, but somehow it feels like the longer you go without hitting it big, the more likely it is to it, hit it It big. does yeah. kind of feel like that. Well, speaking of which, next up we have Brooke, who um, has, has been hit known it big. to hit it big. Has been known to hit it big a few times here. They pulled the big Lugia alt art once upon a time a while ago. Back in season three. Back in season three. Oh! Oh, there we go. What okay. is it? What is it? What yeah, are you I mean, doing? What's something... in the water that Brooke is drinking? Pumpkin Boo, Zubat, Natu, the Slitherwing, the Gorgeist, the okay, Tatsu Gary will, will score. score. Yeah. The Chi Yu will score. Technical Machine Blindside will not. And what wow. is it, Brooke? The Kafrigus EX. I've never seen this card ever. Gold Coffin. This Pokemon is knocked out by damage from attack from your opponent's Pokemon. Search your deck for a card and put it in your hand. Oh, that's cool. Here we go. That's giving worth. Oops, hang on a second. Uh, Two dollars thirty cents. What? So just, just three points. Three 
four, five times two is six. No, ten. sorry, ten. Wow, yep, math. There we go. I was just like the next number <laughs> after five is of course six. Look at this. Look at this. We're we're filling in this page rather nicely. I mean, I'm, ideally, it's just a wall of red. In the it's end. like the the pull rate on the set is wild. I know, We've had so many big pulls so far. It's been far. great. I'm having a blast. I, know, I hope yeah. you are too. This has been really cool. All right, next up we have <laughs> Rosie the King. Rosie Thacking. Rosie Thacking. Could be either. Could be either. They both make equal sense. I like to think that when we struggle a little bit, for the most part, people find it endearing and they enjoy the struggle. Yeah, and it's yeah. better it's better for us to just not know and continue the bit. I think Rosie has re-identified as stacking at this point. Prob prob no, most yeah, likely, yeah. yeah. It feels feels like it. Uh, so we got the Ella Kid, the Vanillish, the Onyx. Wow, that's kind of an interesting Onyx. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. The Tinka Tank, the Cloth, the Luxurious Cape. How oh, fun. The Cyclozar, yeah. the Golbat. The Galvantula, there we yep. go, nailed it, Ben. Uh, the, oh, the oh, Iron Valley, oh, there we go. There you to, go. To close out. So the only scoring card, Bam. I believe. Yeah, I, again, I was like, is this going to be a single point pack, our first of the season? Wrong. Wrong. Instead, Iron Valiant. Let's see. Let's so see. I know there are like four versions of this card in the set, and this is probably the least valuable version. But that being said, still eight dollars ninety four cents for that one. So that'll round up to nine. nine. That's an awesome single card scoring. I I can only imagine how good the other Iron Valiants are. Uh, yeah. Surely we will see one by the end of the season. So Iron Valiant is the ancient version of... It is the future, future version of Gallade. Okay, of yeah. Gallade. Very cool, very yep. cool. So there you go. Let's see, next up we have got Anthony. Anthony. This is now our leaderboard, uh, Doe's older son. So the current leader trying to take down his mom and take over first place. Although that'd be hilarious if they were both sitting in first and second. That would be really amazing. Yeah. That would so, be really amazing. Let's see how Anthony's going to do. So he's got the electric energy there, the Jirachi, the Knockly, the Parasol Lady. That's what his mom pulled. Wow. That's, that's a, that seems It like runs in the family. It does, apparently. And upon the Snorlax Dalts, first one we've seen of those, the Tinkaton, the Flittle, the Zacian Will Score, and the Steelix. Oh, so just two points. Just two points, unfortunately, there for Anthony, but also a Parasol Lady, so. Something you know. to, you know, actually, I feel like if anything, Doe is now gonna be able to exchange texts and be like, ha ha, look at yours compared to mine. I know, mine's so much better. So much more full artish yeah. and, and, and special and rare and valuable. Exactly. <laughs> Classic mother-son banter. I know, right? right? <laughs> totally slamming their son on Pokemon cards. Right. I can only imagine. I can't imagine if mom texted us and was like, Booyah, in your face! Oh, Look you? at my Zard! That would be so that, funny. It would low-key be the coolest thing ever, though. That, that mom, would be amazing. If you're watching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there we go. So we got uh, Andriana. Andriana! Andriana, there yep. we go. Let's see, just played her that last, as of, well, this is a while ago. Uh, is new to playing the game, anyway. Is new to playing the game. Mm, playing okay. the game. All right, well, let's see what we got for the raucous pumping Rocket energy. Blue, Everybody blue. loves to see it. The not to the Remoraid, the Pumpkaboo, the Zubat Man. I feel like they're going for like a whole Halloween vibe. Yeah, like, a little like bit. A whole, like a whole there. Professor Turo scenario, uh, the Mian Chow, the Rika. The Swablu will not score, the Octillery will also not score, and the, the Aegislash. Aegislash. This is our first single point pack of the day, Ben. There we go. Well, so let's we need some sense yeah, on that Aegislash. 134 is correct. Let's see how that does over on the score sheet. Number 134 is going to be worth eight cents. Eight so cents. that feels like a contender wow. to me. Wow, a really low value card to put you firmly in last place, Andriana, which in some, I mean, as long as you continue to pull bad cards, that's great news. We still haven't seen my beloved Porygon yet. Though. No, you're right, we haven't seen yeah. the Porygon yet. Which being worth at only five cents, you'd think we'd be seeing them left, right, and center. You'd think. Next up we've got Hannah. So let's see if Hannah can pull the Porygon. That'd be hilarious. There we go. Let's see it. What did um what did Andriana just pull? Sorry. One point. Well, one point, that's one right. Point. Okay, we made a whole fuss about it. You'd yes. think I'd remember. You'd think. You'd think. Eight cents. Here we go, eight Bam. cents. Bam, Rock is pummeling, pummeling again. The Octillery, the Golbat, the Larry, the Yanmas, the Durant, the Earthen Vessel. Oh, there two we go. Points. That's two, yep. Medical energy, mind foo, the Crobat to go with the Golbat, oh, and the, the uh, Oh, the other Toxtricity, which you know has gotta be. If the if the full art version wasn't good, certainly this version is going to be less. So I'm thinking it's bulk EX, but you never know. You never know, you never know. And I know that there's a few that flirt right around like the $1 mark, but this one is not one of them worth mm. just 60 cents for the Toxtricity. So the Earth so. and Vessel is actually worth more, so it's still going to be a three-point pack. Three-point pack, there we go. There you go, four... 
Hannah. And you still get a, uh, a sleeveable card in your Toxtricity. There so. we go, yeah, that's, that's go. what it really comes down to. You gotta exactly. love the, and plus we, we're using these like 151 sleeves, which I just personally, I think they're like totally beautiful. So they are awesome. Enjoy those. All right, next up we've got John Borg. John Borg. All right, Mr. Borg. John Borg and Billy. Let's see. Wonder if John has a sibling named Cy. <laughs> Like that, because you sighed? Cyborg. Oh, Cyborg. Yeah, Okay. Yeah, cyborg, yeah. John Borg. There we go. Got the metal <laughs> energy, it went whew, clean over Ooh, Clean over there my head. Uh, that sounds like a great roll. character trait for like a cyborg in like a in like a sci-fi movie though, where it's like, this is our cyborg, and he's, but he's just like a depressed, mopey guy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> a little sigh. Yeah. There we go. Uh, got the Gimme Ghoul, the Simi Seer, the Crobat, the Roarark. Uh, the more Pico will score oh, the Jirachi. Uh, I think there's something to note on that one, but don't, will not score. And then we'll close out with the Serena. Serena. So, Ma'am, yeah, the Jirachi is good because it protects you against Sableye and all those nasty Lost Box decks running around. Yeah, so I want to double check it. I want to say that this is um, number 126. Yeah, so like out of all the common cards, it's worth 33 cents. So it's like a bit on the high side. So if like you're opening lots and lots and lots of packs and you're looking to sell like some of your bulk, this is one that is worth. How is it a common card <laughs> as a Mythical Pokemon. That's that has, yeah, that insulting does, that does, to Big Rock, especially it, when it's like a potentially meta card. Anyway. Right. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You know, we, we are where we are. All right, number 46 on the set, though. What will that do for us? Okay, here's one of those examples. So the Serena is going to be worth $1.02. Oh, good rounding. So good so rounding so indeed. It's going to be a three point pack there for John Borg. Gets the Serena. I know uh, Big Steve is excited to play so I, uh, a Serena. He has been telling me about a, uh, an annoying deck he's been building around that card. Which is a classic Big Steve, big time control player. All right, next up we have Ariel Stormborn. Stormborn. All right, Eevee's her favorite Pokemon, another Pokemon that's not in this set, sadly. Sadly. Maybe that was the real reason they did 151 before this, because they were like, a bunch of people's favorite stuff is not going to be in this set, so yeah. we should probably like just, you know, just give it to them. Reset a Pan Sage will score, Iron Bundle, Techno Radar, Counter Catcher, the Pharisee will not, the Steeny will, and the Groudon. So just three points. Just three points for old Stormborn back there. Oh, there. yeah. Enjoy your pack. There we go. Better luck next time. Indeed. Next up, we've got Narwhal King. Narwhal King. King of the Narwhal. Who I believe won something last season. Let's Old see. They're Narwhal at, King. They're at one point, so they might have won. No. Was yeah, that last that place? That might have been last place. Last place last season, I believe. Yeah. I believe that is the case. So congrats on your win. I was the one who personally sent your uh, ETV your way. Nice. As a reminder, all of our winners do receive uh, last place, uh, Big Steve Award, Quality Eighth Place. I'll receive an ETB if it's a three month season, and then first place on a three month season will get a booster box. A whole booster box. A whole booster box. A lot of fun. So anyway, to kick things off, we got the Gimme Ghoul, the Purloin, the Mian Fu, the Pharaoh Seed, the Gore Geist, yeah. the Professor Seda's Vitality, the That's Tassiguri very will score. score. Yep, the Tinkatuff will not, the Ipom will not, and the Glycopod. Glycopod, yeah. as I was gonna say for sure with perfect pronunciation. I do love Glycopod as a Pokemon. It is such a such a powerful guy. There we go. Okay, so two <laughs> points though for that pack for old Narwhal King. So almost trying to replicate the results from last season, but if maybe only. Just, a, just a hint too many points. It's hard, it's hard. All right, next up we have Sierra Cawthorn. Let's see how they're going. I'm pulling from the back. I don't know about pulling you now. Back, yeah. They're all sort of leaning forward, so sort of doing that. These days we're down to our last uh, five contestants of the day. I feel like there's maybe still a rookie hiding in there, maybe? Oh, is there? I, I'm not, I can't be for certain. But anyway, we'll, we'll find out soon. We're going to find out. Bam. Fireball energy. We've got the Panpour, the Blitzel, the Boon Sweet will score, the Feebas, the Wug Trio, Technical Machine Turbo Energize, Technical Machine Blindside, Seedra, the Minin does not score, and the Champow does, so just, just a two-point two pack. pack. Man. Look at this. If some if we land on water as the type advantage, I think we're gonna be sitting pretty. There's I know, a lot yeah. Of water feels cards. feels like that's definitely gonna be the the one to get that's gonna yeah. like really rocket up the average score for whatever episode that happens to land in. It does feel like we've we found ourselves in a dry spell ever since Rod the King's nine-point pull where we've had a, a two, a one, a three, a three, a three, a two, and a two. So if there's anything left in this box, I feel like it's got to be coming soon. And it's Rosie Thacking. Okay? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm Jeez. sorry. Yeah, that's, that's Call people point. by their proper names. Hey, of course, of course. We've got Matt Cox up next. <laughs> oh man, all right, Matt, we can, well, Matthew, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
see what we got here. The electric. Plenty energy. Yep. Uh, we got the the Wiglet, the Jirachi, yep. which again, you're very interesting. The Nakle, the Parasol Lady, who kind of being re yeah, right well, out in the rain. You when know. you are the Simipore, the Zebstrika. Zebstrika. Zebstrika, of course. The Onyx will not score. The Ferrothorn. 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 Yep. Uh, and then the Milotic. All right. Milotic. So this is another uh, one point pack. So we need what's, some what's dollars and cents yeah, on that. Yeah, the Milotic's eight cents as well. Wow. So we have a tie for last place. Melodic. I always say that one wrong, right? Yeah. Not Milotic. Milotic. It is it's like melody. Yeah. Yeah. It's like singing. 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 Ah. Which I cannot do. Yeah. Give it. Bust it out. Aren't you going to be in a band soon or no, something? No. No. Yeah. Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, here, here, All right, we, here go. we go. So this is, um, I, wow, Arreus Khan. Great name, by the way. This is our, uh, I think, last rookie of the day, it looks like. So if they follow the trend, this should be a 16-point pack. It should be, yeah. So Fluffy Duck with two, Opal Atana with four, Aaron and Tony with eight, and uh, Arreus Khan about to find out. All right, here we go. Dark, Dark Teardrop. Teardrop, Feebas, Apom, Pansage, Mantike, Iron Bundle, Glysaur, Future Energy Capsule, Rika, the Steeny Will Score, and oh. the Zatu. So not exactly the 16 point pack they were hoping for. That does mean that uh, Aaron and Tony are gonna be our Rookie of the Day. Olive Garden gift card winners, but congratulations. Bam. Yeah, you're welcome. You, know, you can get take that straight to the Olive Garden and enjoy it. Right? All right, next up. <laughs> We've got Moss Twig. Moss Twig. Long time uh, big player in the game here. All right, let's see if I can. Their fun fact is that they can crack their ear like their knuckles. And then there's a postscript here that says Cat and Ethan hate that. <laughs> so if you ever meet them in person, make sure you just like really give it a big old, big old crack. There we go. Wow, Porygon 2. Porygon 2. Worth noting, also worth more than the, the Porygon, Porygon Z. Yeah, yeah, Porygon Z. The Octillery, the Golbat, the Larry. You got Larry? It. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> who, was, who was the guy? Thor? This is like Thornton's dad. Right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sure, sure, why not? Uh, no offense to all Larrys of the world. Uh, Crocolore. It's Ampel not a very Bomb. Pokemon name. There you go. The Snorlax doll, the Orthworm, will not score. The Knackley will not score. And the Zatu. Zatu. All right, so this is another one-point pack. Suddenly, we're coming down these last placers. I know, yeah. 19 cents, though, wow. for that one. So basically, just going to probably completely yeah. you know, like way not, too competitive. Yeah, not great for that. The Zatu is pretty playable. It's got a very, it's similar to Shadow Rider VMAX, except instead of giving up three prizes, it just gives up one. So otherwise, um, pretty solid for that. It's drawing effect anyway. But we are down to our last contestant of the day. Do we have last pack magic for Faith? Do we're we have faith in last pack magic? We're about to find out. We're yeah, about to find out. We're due. Out. I mean, truly, I feel like at this point people are like, all right, guys, we need some steam here. I feel like the yeah. middle of the the middle of the box really had all the points had there. A lot so. of good stuff going. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, bad faith. Omen. Okay. Here we yeah, go. That's good. Got the guy ball, the pan board, the blitz of the boon. Sweet will score the Dondozo, the tulip, Veluza, Tinka, Tink, the horsey, horsey will, will score, score and, and the brute bonnet. So it's still going to be a six point pack overall. Not too shabby. Good start there. The Brute Bonnet is always is a pretty cool looking card. Anyway, we pulled the illustrator version of this. I hope we pull it on camera because it's super cool looking. There we go. But there you go, Faith. Congratulations. We, uh, at the end of the day, though, Doe is going to be able to sit atop the leaderboard with that uh, Parasol Lady yes. 30 point 30 pack. 30 points. Very Just impressive. Wild. Marcos uh, had a 28 point pack. We had uh, Big Steve with 19 points on the day. So very interesting to see how early on in the season, there's still lots of packs left to be open, but lots of really cool stuff has already uh, come our way, which is always exciting to mm -hmm. see. If you would like to become a Box Breakers patron and have us open a pack for you in the future, you can do so by heading over to Patreon patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and selecting any of the box breakers tiers. And if you need help selecting what team you want to be on, just remember that uh, we take a the, the top five scores from every team and whoever wins for that season gets a commemorative pin. A commemorative pin, if you're super on the cool. Right we, we go yeah. by cross country rules, which is just a hooting and hollering good time, yeah. you know, top five, and then if it comes to a tiebreaker, we go to six and seven, yeah. which yeah. probably is just also rules for other things as well, but you yeah. know, specifically also cross country, so. Yeah, that's what we did, so we know them as cross country. Rules. That's exactly right. Yeah. That's exactly right. But otherwise, guys, thank you so much. As always, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!